Yo, what's up, everybody? Jumping here, and I am back with my If I Die, I Lose My Weapon series. In the last episode, we started running through the Daughters of Chaos area, and yeah, I mean, I really like this area a lot. One place I don't really like is this one, only because of my eyes! Oh my god, this lava always blinded me. It looks better, in my opinion, in the remastered. It's not as blinding as it once was, so I don't know, like, did they work on that on purpose but i remember coming down here and it was just awful and the first time i ever came through here when i was a total noob and it was my first playthrough i actually sat here and killed every one of the enemies in this area because this area was like literally my living nightmare it was so bad i didn't know where to go i was super lost i kept running into all of these stupid dinosaur or Whatever you want to call these, these bone half dinosaurs, like, I don't even know. But this place was so bad. But, unfortunately, once you actually do figure out where to go, you end up fighting the bed of cancer. So, that's not so good either. I actually have a friend who has played this game quite a bit, okay? So, my friend, oh my god. Hold up, I gotta get out of here before I die. No, do not hit me, fool. Anyway, my friend who's played this game quite a bit actually got stuck on the bed of cancer just because it's been so long, I guess, and she didn't remember how to fight it properly. I don't know. In this video, when I do fight that thing, I am going to cheese it, so maybe you guys can learn something if you're new to the game. But yeah, like, that boss is ridiculous. Like, I have had moments of rage unlike any moments of rage fighting that thing because the boss battles is super easy. All you gotta do is hit the boss one time. That's it. Just hit the boss once, and you are good. And by the way, this is a fake wall over here with a bonfire, which is perfect for me, because I definitely want that. But you only have to hit the boss once. But getting to the boss to actually be able to hit the boss, well, that's another story, and that's where problems can occur. Now, if you do, choose not to actually cheese the boss, okay? And there's different ways to actually do it. If you do co-op, it's extremely easy. It is so easy in co-op if you do it right and if you do my little strategy by yourself it also makes it a lot easier so we'll get into all that now once we actually cross this point we can put on our other ring the only problem with doing that if i die which hopefully i won't but if i do die then i'm gonna have problems because i'll probably forget i'll walk into the lava and die again and lose all my souls and why didn't i spend my souls Eighty thousand right now that's horrible Anyway, back to the point. Yeah, the bed of cancer, it's, it's pretty bad. It's such a ridiculous boss battle, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I can get the timing down. If I die against the bed of cancer, I think I'm probably going to go ahead and put on, I don't know, some broken straight swords or something like that. Maybe that mail breaker, just because I'm not going to actually do anything to the boss. And in fact, I'm pretty sure the boss only has one HP, so it doesn't actually matter, like, on how hard I actually hit it or not. So we'll have to see. The other problem with this area. There's one other problem here. Which I'm worried about. It's not really a big issue. Oh no I forgot about something. I think I kind of want to do it. I feel like a moron now. I forgot about Sigmire. Okay I think I'm going to go and do Sigmire's story. Real quick. Once I actually clear out this little area. But these guys. These guys are stupid. If he grabs me, I'm I'm totally screwed. He's going to break all my armor, and I think he breaks your weapon, too. Look at that. I got a red titanite chunk. Nice. Also, I'm human, which I'm worried about because I can be invaded here by a real person. Now, I'm about to be invaded by an NPC, but, I mean, if I get invaded by a real person, well, I'm going to have some issues because, I don't know. But so far, I haven't really been invaded all that much. I did get invaded at Andrelando and Sin's Fortress, but that's been it so far, so I've been kind of lucky. Okay, is he dead? I think he's dead. This poor guy, every time he's ever invaded me, he's always got parried immediately and died. All right, so we have another one of these guys over here, and this is where I'm going to get Chaos Fire Whip or whatever. Oh, I missed. Yeah, um, I don't know, like this weapon. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, thank God! Oh, man, that was scary. I thought I was going to get hit by that. That's acid, so it just eats through all your crap, and it's terrible. I do believe there is a rare ring of sacrifice in this area, which I believe I already have one, and you only need one for your playthrough, because you do need one of those later. But for now, 
I only need one, but I might go get it just because why not? Why not actually collect all the stuff here while we're here anyway? I don't know what else I'm going to do in this episode because I'm assuming that I'm going to be able to get to the Bed of Chaos fairly quickly. And I guess I will have to go and start another area because I don't want to make these videos like only 20 minutes long. I like these videos to maybe be like 30 minutes long. My last video was like 18 minutes long. So I didn't even realize that though. So I apologize because that was kind of a short episode. I thought it was going to be longer. I should have probably just continued on and actually tried to get to the Bed of Chaos. But I'll be honest with you, I wasn't looking forward to it. I wasn't in the right state of mind. And sometimes when that happens, I'm like, okay, I just want to end this episode because I really want to take a break. And I'll come back to this later because I really don't want to go fight that Bed of Chaos. Like mentally, I'm a wreck sometimes and uh, that's the problem. Okay. So we're not going to go down to the bottom where the whole Sigmire thing happens because we need to go and talk to him. But I am going to go check on Solaire and see if Solaire is going to be alive. I, I really hope that he's going to be safe because, you know, I did a little cheese in the last episode and let's see if it worked. And I, I'm going to say that I think it did, but you never know. There is an enemy up here, okay? And I am worried about this enemy. I'll be honest. This enemy is going to scare the crap out of me. Oh, my God. I think I'll fight it on the way back, okay? That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to fight it right now. I will fight it, but I'm going to fight it on the way back after the whole Sigmire thing. Because I'll be honest with you, this thing is the only one of these demon titanites in the entire game that will respawn. But this thing is so overpowered, it's ridiculous. And this bridge, it doesn't help because I can fall off. It's going to take me, I would guess, 10, maybe 20 hits to kill it? I don't know if I really want to waste my time doing that, you know? Like, come on, let's be honest. Especially with a weapon like this where it can break. I don't want to do that. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll probably do it. But like I said, I'll do it later. Oh. Oh, okay. We are good to go. Yeah, buddy. All right, so Slayer is there and he's safe. Hello, buddy. How you doing? And we can pick up this item from when I killed this thing earlier. Give me that. All right, we need that for the Tomb of the Giants. But yeah, so you don't have to open the door. Now, if you do open the door, though, you can skip a lot of stuff. So if that's what you want to do, that's fine. But if you want to save Solaire so that you can have him, then you could just do the Poison Mist strategy. All right, so let me go and talk to Sigmire. I need to go to the Daughters of Chaos. And then from there, uh, I'll have to run all the way back, but it's it's whatever. I don't care. All right, so let me... Uh, I don't have a Homer Boner equipped. Well, anyway, I'm just going to Homer Boner. I'm going to go to the Daughters of Chaos, and I'm going to go talk to Sigmire. So I will see you guys in a moment. All righty. Well, we are back. Now I have to make my way all the way to Sigmire. I'm trying to think, what do I want to do for his story? Because his story is really sad, and I guess I'll get into a little bit of lore. But the deal is, Sigmire is awesome. I always liked Sigmire. I thought he was dope. The thing about him is that he's a lazy knight, and he's kind of a coward. He's pathetic. He's always getting into situations where pretty much he has to have someone come along and save him. Although he's a knight, and he should be able to take care of these things himself, he doesn't. And you, the person, the, the player, I mean, what do you call yourself? The Undead Hollow? I, I don't even know. I don't remember the name of the hero in this game. But that's the point. Like, you are the um, player, and you have to save him multiple times throughout the game. And what will happen is, his final little story arc is that he wants to sacrifice himself to save you. Now, you have two choices. Let him go and die. So either way, he's screwed. He's going to die. And he'll sacrifice himself, and then, you know, hey, he did something good. He finally saved you. Awesome, Sigmire. Or B, you can help him in the fight. And you both survive, but then he's like, oh, you, you helped me. I wanted to do this on my own. No. And then he goes crazy and hollow. And then later we can find him, which is in the dragon area, which I kind of don't want to go to. But I guess I, I should. I mean, I don't know. There's no boss down there, so there's really no point to go down there besides to get the materials and stuff that is down there. I don't know, I guess I will, because that's a whole gravity area, so I'm sure you guys are going to want me to do it. So maybe I'll let him go hollow so that we can fight him down there, but we'll see. I'll definitely do it later in the game, 
when he should be down there hollow. And I believe his daughter shows up to help you with the fight. I'm not sure. I'll be honest with you. I don't think I've ever had that happen to me. At least I don't remember that ever happening to me. I know that's how it happened, though, or happens, is that you save him, and then you talk to the daughter and all that. You do the whole daughter storyline, and then you go down to where the dragon area is, and pretty much he will be down there, and he will be hollow. So it's pretty sad. But I do like to let him sacrifice himself if I can, just because, you know, he's the homie, man. He's going to die for me, bro. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. All right, man, I'm going to dip out of here. We're going to go back now and go do his little thing, go get the red titanite slab, and then go and fight the bed of cancer. Oh, no! All right, good. We're back, and I just literally spawned here, so that's awesome, actually. I didn't have to run through this area because I didn't rest at any bonfires. I love that about this game. That is freaking epic. In the other games, I'm pretty sure you will always respawn at the local bonfire, which, I don't know, I find that to be lame. I'd rather respawn all the way back at that place. And I did remember to put the ring back on, thank God, because, like I said before, there is a chance that you can forget that, and if you forget that, you're going to be in trouble because you're probably going to burn to death instantly. There's been too many times where that's happened to me, and every time I've always screamed. I've always went, oh, no, and then, like, just died. I'm like, oh, all my souls because that's normally what happens you lose all your freaking souls and i forgot to level up again but holy crap wow i got like thirty thousand souls in this area so quick that's that's kind of crazy but whatever all right i'm gonna save sigmire that makes me worried though because see, here's the problem with sig actually there is a way to do it i just have to not talk to him before i jump down to kill all the guys i don't know but that's, that's the issue. It's like, I don't want to fight these enemies. I'm afraid of them. They're going to murder me. Okay, and by the way, that Titanite demon, screw that guy. I'm not going to fight him. I thought about it. I'm not going that way, so uh, I thought I was going to come back that way. But I guess not. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to cheese this part, too. This is hilarious. So, like, how do I jump down there without getting eaten alive? Ah, crap. Which way do I go? Uh... I don't know how to get down there without getting just totally destroyed. Maybe I can hop down the site. I, I remember you can hop down the site somewhere. Ah, where, where is it? I, I'm scared. Oh, here it is. Okay. So we can hop down this way. Let's go down this way. Ooh, nice. And this is where the red uh, Titanite slab is. So I can just grab this right away. And what we're going to do here, this has always been like one of the one of the funniest things. I showed this to one of my friends who's played this game, but not much. I think my friend beat it once, and I showed him this little cheese, and he was dying laughing because uh, he was super scared of this area because of those guys. I mean, he just he. I told him to look off the edge. I'm like, dude, look off the edge over there. He's like, oh, okay. And he looked off, and he's like, oh my god. But anyway, this is what you do. You literally just stand here and you chill. Oh, uh oh, come on. Thank God that missed. There you go. Bye-bye. Now, we can go get the rest of them. And I should actually put on the other item here. All right, come on, guys. Let's have a pate. Come aboard the pain train. It's all the way over here. We're going to chill right here. There we go. One, two, three, four. There might be another one somewhere, but we'll see. Is there another one down here? Hello? Anybody, anybody down here? No, I think we're good. We are cleared. Thank you very much. I wonder, like, can you kill, like, four of them and leave one alive? And then go and talk to Sigmire? Because I'm thinking that if you leave just one alive, maybe he could come down here and kill it. Because I do believe... Actually, you know what? Maybe they one-shot him. I can't remember. I swear, like, I think he gets one-shotted by them. Like, he's that weak. But I could be wrong. I, I don't want to say anything because I, I'm not sure. But I remember, like, when you let him go and die, he will, like, legitly just get obliterated. So, yeah. And I apologize. My window is open. I don't know if you guys can actually hear this truck. I hear a truck just parked outside making all types of noise. So, I apologize for that if you can hear it. But eh, there's nothing I can do. I, I gotta have the window open. You know, why not? 
Okay, uh, we're trying to figure out how to get out of here, so we can go talk to Sigmeyer. I, I don't remember exactly what he says here, if they're if they're already dead. I think he says, like, you know, oh, no, you have to try to get out of here. And he's like, oh, wait, they're all dead. Uh, oh, okay. Thanks, I guess. I guess I guess we're good. And I know you can jump down there. Oh, there's that truck. Oh, my. Oh, my God, it's so loud. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh man. I think I need to close the window. Uh nah, it's fine for now. Oh my, it's getting louder! No, what is this thing doing? Why is it down here? Okay, there's an item there too, and I don't want to get it. You know, I don't see Sigmire. I, I don't see him anywhere. Where, where exactly is is he? Uh, uh hello. Get out of here, truck. There he goes. Okay, it's gone. Where is Sigmire? I don't see him. Oh my god. I don't think he's down here right now. Oh, yeah, he is. Okay. We just have to figure out how to get to him. Um, how do I get to him? That item up there, I believe that might be a red titanite chunk. Or it could be, like, just a soul or something. So I'm not tripping over it. Okay, here we go. This is how we get to him. Right here. Hello, friend. Uh, oh, there you are. Did you defeat? Yeah, I see. Thank you. Yeah, so he just tells you, like, oh, you, de you defeated them. Great. Um, now how do I get out of this? Do I have to jump? Oh, oh my god, I have to jump down! Oh my god. Okay, back into the crappy water we go. Well, all that is left here, besides me trying to get out of here, which is a pain in my ass, but... All that is left is going to be the bed of cancer. So we will definitely um, go and do that and pretty much see how that goes. But like I said, the only part that worries me is the end. And, and honestly, that's the part that always gets you generally is the end. Where do I go to get out of here? I want to leave. I'm going to go to the other end. I think that's how I can get that item. But yeah. Anyway, like I was saying... The part that always gets you is the end. So we'll see how that goes because there's no way to cheese the end. Okay, we can get to the end fairly quickly. Oh my god. Okay, I remember now. I remember. Oh god. This is terrible. But uh, what we need to do here is we need to go to the other side. I think last time I went left, so this time I'm going to go right. Or can I go right? I think I can. And then the path that will take me up top will be the one where the item is that I'm missing. Okay, here we go. I did go left last time, right? I think I did. Okay, let's assume that real quick. I could swear you have to go left to get the item. Okay, no, I was right. It was, it, it was right. Okay, so now let's get out of here. There is a way out of here. I remember my first two or three playthroughs I did of this game... I, every time I ever came down here, I never knew how to get out of here. Every single time I, like, homeward boner. Every time. In fact, there was one time, I think, where I just killed myself and got out. Because I did not think you could get out of here at all. Okay, wait. This is, this ain't right. Oh, my God. Which way is the way out? Oh, no! Okay, I'm homeward boning, dude. Screw this. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I'm stuck here again. I don't think there's a way out of here. Nope. Okay, we have one more homer boner. I'm getting out of here, dude. I'm not dealing with that. So, I will see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, and we're back. I guess I will level up. Okay, I keep forgetting to level up. So, let me just level up my endurance all the way. Oh my god. That camera angle was amazing there. Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot. Gotta put that on. There we go. Now, I'm trying to think, what should I do after I do the Bed of Cancer? I think I might go to New Londo, because that would be a good place. I was thinking about going to the Catacombs, but I'll be honest with you, I really don't want to do the Catacombs right now. And unless I just skip everything, then it's going to take, like, forever. But New Londo, I'm going to run past everything, which is, of course, very dangerous. The chance of me dying is extremely high, actually, in New Londo, but... Actually, I don't really need to run past everything. I could kill it. Like, it's not going to be really hard or anything. But, uh, yeah. So, I think I'm going to do that. Because I do want to open the gate. 
And I do want to actually get that little part going. Now, I'm not going to fight the four kings anytime soon, but I would like to get the very large ember. That is something I definitely need. Just in case I do lose this weapon, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to probably go with the claymore or something like that next. All right, so let's go ahead and make our way up top. And we will do this cheese. Now, hopefully this works out good. It generally does. The only side I'm worried about is the second part. I'm not really worried about the end. I am worried about it because I can get screwed. But I'm pretty good at doing the end. It's just always the second part that's like super annoying. So we're going to start with the right side first. Then we're going to go to the left. Now if you have co-op, what makes co-op so easy for this is you literally just have the host go down and then the phantoms go down. And then what you do is you have everyone set up. So if you have three people you're golden if you have two that's fine as well oh my god i'm stuck on a wall or whatever but uh with with three people you just set up one oh my god okay that that was awesome let's uh heal up now but you have everyone set up uh one on the right one on the left and you just you stand here that's it until everyone's in position and then one hits one side, one hits the other side, and then finally the guy will go down into the middle. That's the three-person setup. And then the two-person setup is you have one on the right, one on the left, and then you just have the phantom go and see if the phantom can make it. And if the phantom fails, then the host will try. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. But for this strategy, we're going to have to deal with the cutscenes. That's the only downside. And this is kind of tedious, at least for me, for a video. But this is the easier way to do it. So, let's go. So once you get the cutscene and that's over with, simply just quit out the game. That's all you got to do. Alrighty guys, well I am back and once you load back in, you just come back down. That's pretty much it. And now we can go and get the other side. So this part's going to be a, oh my god, this part's going to be a lot harder than it was last time, but I'm not too worried about it. Oh my god, okay, this thing's already pissing me off, okay, this is, this is making me mad already. Um, but yeah, okay, let's go. Oh my god. I'm scared. Dodge, motherfucker. Dodge. There we go. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I forgot about the left. The left seems like it's a lot more trolly than the right. Alright, now hit the thing. And once the cutscene's done, we quit out again. Yeah! Okay, and now we go through the middle. That's pretty much it. I mean, as you can see fairly easy can i change my ring as i go down because i want to put this on now the middle is tricky but you just have to have the timing right that's all that's all it requires is timing so let's do this again and yeah we just have to get this one swing to happen all right do the swing okay slam all right now we go we just go okay ah! okay we made it now we just have to be quick so you just have to time that. If you time that, you're good. The problem is, is that this thing can also do fire while you're down here. And that fire freaking hurts. It hurts really bad. All right. Now freaking just d d die. There we go. All right. Well, that's done. And bed of cancer is defeated. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. I guess I'll, I'll do it. I, I don't really feel like I should, but whatever. Jump for joy. Yeah. yeah, just, yeah we did that. All right, so now let's go to New Londo, and we can actually get a Firekeeper soul while we're down there, so that should be fun. All righty, guys, well, I will see you in a moment. All righty, so we are back at Firelink. Let's rest here, and we will go down to New Londo. I am worried about it, I'll be honest with you, for a couple different reasons. The ghosts are OP. But I think I can get through it. If I wanted to, I really could just run through the whole thing. I think I will actually fight the spirits, though, just because I'm at the right level to do it. I should be able to one-shot all of them, and I'm not really worried about that. I don't think I can be invaded at, at all while I'm here until you open the gate. Once you open the gate, then, yeah, you can be invaded. Okay, I need to send this back up just in case I do die. And if I do die, I think I'm going to resort to uh, the run past strategy. And I think it's time to bust out the mail breaker and the broken straight sword, if that happens. Oh, hello! I forgot about you. How you doing, buddy? Ow. Come on. Swing again. 
are, are okay. <laughs> Do that! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I forgot about a weapon. I forgot about a powerful weapon in this game. A very awesome weapon, actually. Let me go and get that. Oh my god, how did I forget about this? Look at this. This is where you get the S-Stock. And in fact, that's a great weapon in this game. That's a great weapon in, like, all the games, to be quite honest. And you can get that at the start of the game. You just come down here. You don't even have to kill anything. You just literally pick it up. That's all you gotta do. Alright, so let's go deal with these ghosts now. Oh my god, spooky, scary ghost. It's, um, it's terrifying. There's one part that I'm actually worried about, and that is actually getting the Firekeeper Soul, because I hate that part. I've actually fallen off in that part so many times. I know there's another one. Come here. Oh my god. Freaking walls. It's horrible. Okay, uh, this is the part right here. This is so lame. I hate anything like this. Luckily, I have a weapon. Like, the how? Oh my god, I missed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just die. There we go. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, give me that. I'll take it. All right. Um, I think I have the auto center control option off. You do not want that on. It's so bad because, like, when you're running or walking on the path like that where you fall off, sometimes the camera just it just shifts like that. And it's like, what? What? And then you just keep running and you run right off. It's just awful. All right, let's kill these things. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How am I missing? My God! Say, did my effect wear off or something? Like, what's going on? This room is cancer. This upcoming room is, is pretty bad. Oh, oh my God! I knew there was one over here. Just, just die! Oh my God! Just, just die! There you go. By the way, um, they have so many dead babies in these games. It's, it's kind of crazy on how many dead babies there are. But, like, some of these spirits, like, the, the ones that are more powerful and, like, way worse are the ones that have the dead babies. They literally have ghost babies. It's crazy. There's always things to do with babies in any of these games. Miyazaki is just, he's into dead babies, man. Um, I'm pretty sure I heard before that he's pro-life. So he always, like, I don't know why he does that, but he likes to have dead babies in the game. Like, there's one part in the Tomb of the Giants where there's nothing but baby skeletons. It's like... That is where all the abortions, like, or what happens to the abortions of the world. They all end up in the Tomb of the Giants, man. Like, all these, like, millions and millions of dead babies. Because you can literally sit there and kill, like, a million babies if you want to. Dead babies, that is, of course. But, um, and then on top of that, Bloodborne had, like, some weird baby stuff in there as well. It's just, like, I don't know what is, is up with Miyazaki and babies, but he just loved dead babies, man. All right, my effects should be wearing off here pretty soon. I can't remember how to tell if it's on or not. Oh, my God. Um, I think I'm just going to try to use another one, like, right now. So let's just see. Because I'm pretty sure it does. Oh, it's not worn off yet. Okay, I'm going to equip that thing just because I don't want that to wear off and me not know. All right, I guess that's the way to tell It's just have it on like that. And if you see that you can use it, then you're, you're good. But this is the worst room. This is such a terrible room. It's it's ridiculously bad. That was a dead baby one right there. Oh my god. Okay, just just die. Oh, oh my god! I knew it. Ah! I hate that area. I hate that area so much. All right, uh, we are going to throw on the best weapon in the entire game, the Mail Breaker. Let's go. That's our new weapon, guys. That's what we're using for the rest of the playthrough. No more deaths. No more deaths at all. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get rid of the Crystal Halbert. Goodbye. <laughs> My Crystal Halbert, man. Fucking ghost, dude. See, I should have just ran past that room. Like, that's the room that you should run past. Like, seriously. Like, that room is so cancer to sit there and fight. Because see, the problem is they stun you. They stun the crap out of you. And once you get stunned, you're dead. It's awful, man. All right. Let's go on down. You know, I was reading the comments, and people were saying, because I was saying, like, me using stuff like the Mail Breaker or the Broken Straight Sword, man, that that's terrible. Like, I shouldn't do that. Like, that's almost cheating. Like, if I know I'm in an area where I'll probably die... 
I shouldn't be able to put these weapons like this on. And people were saying, dude, you're crazy. Do it. Just do it. I know you regret it now. It's like, you're right. I have too much honor. Too much honor. But anyway, now we're going to do the run pass strategy. And um, this is the more effective strategy anyway. Because watch me not die now. Okay? I'm pretty good with these jukes against these ghosts. I am actually like a master of this. So you're about to see it right now. All right. Let's go over here. I think I should put a curse on. I do think that's better. I believe the curse actually raises your defense as well against these things. I'm probably wrong on that. But there's some that are in your way, like this one. You can always poke it and knock it out the way. So that's why the curse is good. I believe, like in this room, there's one right here. Poke that stupid thing. Get out my way. And now we can go down here. All right. Got to get my souls back, too. Because I did have, like, 60,000 of them. Which I don't want to lose that. Okay, what, where's the door? There it is. Go on through. Oh my god. This is terrifying. Look at this. I can't see him anymore. But like, you you can run out of here, okay, when you have all the ghosts chasing you. You could see like a hundred ghosts behind you. It's crazy, man. The only problem with this is that there's a chance I could fall off here. So I need to be careful. But we need to climb up. Okay, because like, watch, I'm going to get hit. Okay, I'm going to get hit, but oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my freaking god, that was so close. <sighs> they need to calm down for sure. Please calm down. I have to remember where to go because see, that's the, that's the key. I have to know where to go because if I get lost or turned around, I'm dead. So we just got to be quick here. So get on the ladder. All right, let's do the slide down. There we go. Slide down. Okay, now it's time to run for my freaking life. Down of the way. Okay, we're going over here. See, they're all going to chase me. Try to hug me. Nope, no hugs for you. We're in the right spot. Okay, run over here. I'll pick up the item because I'm a rebel and I don't care. And we're done. See, I should have done this. This is what I should have done. Lost my crystal halberd, man. Cannot believe that. See, I now I need to get the large ember. I really do. I have to go get that very large ember. Because if I get that, I can definitely upgrade my weapons, which I need it now. So, in the next episode, I think I'll start that episode by going to go get the very large ember. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have a problem, guys. We have a huge problem. Uh, uh, uh-oh. I don't have a homeward boner. Uh... What am I going to do now? I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I'm, I'm scared. Where do I go? What, what is this? Oh, hey. Totally forgot about that. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know what to do now. Oh, no. Oh, man. I totally forgot. I used them all up. Okay. Um. I mean, I got a mail breaker on, so. All right. Well, fuck it. This is a good way to end the episode. Uh, please like the video, guys. Subscribe for more. And, uh, bye. Gravity. I didn't die? Oh, my God. I love it. Gravity doesn't work when I want it to. This is so ridiculous. Okay, well, um, let's come down here now, I guess. We're, we're not done yet. We are not done yet. How do I want to get out of here? It's, I want to get back to the bonfire. Okay, we're going this way. Out of the way! Out of the way! Alright, let's go! Get out of my way! There we go. Alright. Well, what's nice about this is that I'll be pretty close to Andre, so I can upgrade my claim more for the next episode. Wait a minute. Is this the right way? Yes, this is the right way. Awesome. Okay. Come on through here. Pull this. Ha! Ah, what a fail, dude. Try to kill myself to gravity. That was my way out. But it just pulled me back in. It really just did. Unreal. Now we have to wait for this stupid thing. Alright. We're done now. Ah, oh, thank God. Anyway, now I can actually have a proper good vibe. I really do hope that everyone has enjoyed this video. It's been pretty fun. I'm pretty upset that I died. 
But I would appreciate it if you would like the video for me. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And also, of course, I hope that everyone has a very nice day. And peace.